了杰出贡献的民间人士，而设立的一项荣誉勋章。像英国著名的球星杰拉德、歌手阿黛尔都曾经获得过这枚勋章。但是您知道吗？在英国的餐饮行业，第一个获得这项荣誉的是一对华人姐妹，谢海伦和谢丽莎。那么接下来，我们就一起走进他们的故事。曼彻斯特中国城是英国北部地区华人最集中的地方，这里有一对华裔姐妹开办的中餐厅“甜甜餐厅”，每天的生意都非常火爆。妹妹谢丽莎是餐厅里的主厨，而姐姐谢海伦帮妹妹打下手。味道鲜美的中餐家常菜。和他们创新的各式炒饭是这里的招牌菜。每天，姐妹俩都很忙碌。说起这生意火爆的原因，妹妹谢丽莎表示，那还要从一通电话讲起。And said we're filming、um, for Gordon Ramsay's F word, and we were like,、mm, we're not really interested because we don't want to be seen on the wrong show. We thought it was Gordon Ramsay's Kitchen Nightmares. 谢丽莎说的是二零零九年，英国一档收视率非常高的美食电视节目《F 文字》邀请他们参加比赛，姐妹俩当时就拒绝了，因为这档电视节目主要的看点是主持人英国名厨拉姆齐在节目里对厨师的错误进行毫无情面的挑剔。他们担心，如果参加比赛，万一出现错误，可能会被电视镜头无限的放大。最终会让自己的餐饮事业受到严重打击。不过，电视节目组说出了一个让他们无法拒绝的理由，改变了他们的想法。Then they said,、um, your customers put you forward for this show, so you have to go in for it because you, you, you know, you've hit the shortlist. 就这样，姐妹俩参加了这档电视竞赛节目，并且接受了来自英国其他餐厅的挑战。虽然开始只是抱着试试看的心态，但是没想到，姐妹俩凭借自己的厨艺是一路过关斩将，竟然最后闯入了总决赛。因为比赛地点在伦敦，而在曼彻斯特的生意也不能放下，姐妹俩常常是多线作战。在总决赛上，谢家姐妹顾不上疲惫。他们用家传秘方烹制了梅布尔沙包鸡配蛋炒饭，并且凭借这道菜打败了另外一家餐厅的大厨们，成了这次比赛的冠军。姐妹俩因此在英国是一夜成名。他们在曼彻斯特的甜甜餐厅也跟着被英国人熟悉。现在，每天他们都要接待来自英国各地慕名而来的客人。I ordered、um, clay pot chicken and five treasure rice. And it's really amazing. Lots of beautiful flavours. Yeah, you can taste the ginger and the chicken and some meat that they put in. I don't know what it is, but it's fantastic. Yeah. 虽然依靠中餐厅的生意，姐妹两个成为了英国的名人，但是没人会想到，这两个人在十多年前并不是厨师。In a former life, I used to be a lawyer. Lisa was in finance. 谢家姐妹为什么要改行开中餐馆呢？这还要从他们的外婆说起。原来，谢海伦的外婆在六十多年前刚来英国的时候，就靠开办中餐馆在曼彻斯特扎下了根。She came over to the UK in the 1950s, and she set up one of the first Chinese restaurants in Manchester, even before Chinatown. 他们的外婆天生喜爱烹饪，开办的中餐馆在曼彻斯特很有名气。不过，外婆有一个非常不好的嗜好——赌博。有一次，外婆把好不容易挣来的全部家业，一夜之间输得个精光，整个家庭立刻变得贫穷起来。谢家姐妹的妈妈觉得不能让自己的女儿再犯同样的错误，要远离餐饮业。于是，姐姐谢海伦最后考入英国剑桥大学法律系，妹妹谢丽莎也被曼彻斯特城市大学会计专业录取，都和餐饮无关。可让人想不到的是，外婆对烹饪的热爱却好像……遗传给了姐妹俩。You know, in school in England, everybody bakes apple pies. It's all baking. Yeah. And not our Lisa. She get her walk. I made to come last day for practicing all my dishes at school. 姐妹俩毕业之后，海伦进入了全球最大的律师行，担任一名律师。丽莎做着一份会计工作，但是姐妹俩却都悄悄惦记着让谢家又爱又恨的餐饮行业。Two thousand and four, we all gave up our jobs. Always been our dream to restore the family name, to come back into the restaurant business. So for us, Sweet Mandarin is more than a business. 
it's really, you know, it's only recipes that continue to be passed down from generation to generation. 尽管希望重新踏足餐饮业的谢家姐妹有着极大的决心和热情，但是她们却没有任何从商经验，更缺少足够的资金。从开始筹备阶段，挫折感就向姐妹们劈头盖脸砸了下来。The, I remember the hardest thing、yeah. was raising money. Yes. To buy the, this land and build this restaurant, because when we went to the banks, nobody would lend us any money. Why? Well, we were all twenty-something. They said you're too young. You don't know what you're doing. 没有钱，开店只能是痴心妄想。而此时，父亲向姐妹俩伸出了援手。So what we did is we each had a house and we sold it. We moved. All of us moved back in with mom and dad. <laughs> And we used that money to buy this land, and that's how we got the business started. 餐厅终于开张了，在曼彻斯特打响餐馆知名度、招揽客源，是姐妹们急需解决的问题。在缺少宣传资金的情况下，姐妹俩想出了一个奇招。We asked all the locals and everybody in Manchester to enter the prize draw, and what you got to do is give us a name, and if your name's selected, you're going to win a prize. So everybody's curious. Oh, what should we name this restaurant? What should we name this restaurant? So they, firstly, they learned where we were, and secondly, they were engaged. Everybody joined in and said, "I want to call it, you know, Lucky Boat. I want to call it this, that, and the other." 妹妹丽莎主理烹饪，姐姐海伦负责招待顾客。姐妹俩特别希望让客人在餐厅里找到家的感觉。在姐妹两个细心的照料下，这间餐厅终于走上了正轨。就在参加完 F 文字的比赛之后，各大媒体竞相采访姐妹俩，但是有些电视节目居然想让姐妹俩对其他的中餐厅做出负面评价，这让他们感觉很气愤。You know we're Chinese and we should be proud to be Chinese and we should be proud of our Chinese heritage and cooking and and flavors. You know if the show's about that, I'll do it. If the show's about saying Chinese is no good. I'm not going to do it. You know, I will never put myself up higher than someone else just to improve myself. That's not. They don't need to do that. 除了用美食招待顾客，姐妹俩还自己编写中餐菜谱。她们希望客人们能够自己做出可口的中餐。这一行为受到顾客们的好评。为了表彰这对华人姐妹对英国社会的贡献 ，2014 年。英国女王伊丽莎白二世特别授予他们一人一枚大英帝国元佐勋章，海伦和丽莎也成为全英国餐饮界这项最高荣誉的仅有两名获得者。Also, a very poor family from China have managed to come to the UK and receive the Queen's top award. You know, if we can do it, then you can too. You know, anybody can do it, and we. Want to help others.